and apologies to those of you who thought that this video would see me back in my workshop. Well, uh, other things more pressing came came to hand, and uh, um, this uh, the drone issue with the camera was one of them. So although I've got some jobs to do in the workshop, none of them are very pressing. So I just wanted to talk about this. Now you may remember uh, a video I made um, ten days, week ago, um, about the quality that I was getting from the camera on this uh, SEMA drone. And uh, the quality basically wasn't very good. And then I had the, um, the brainwave uh, of, of using my um, action camera. And this was the Silver Crest. Remember I bought that um, in, in Diddle and I made a video about that. The Silver Crest camera, attaching it by elastic bands to the bottom of this, like that, and flying it. And uh, um, it did take off. And uh, if you've seen the video, you'll see that I did get some reasonably good footage in 1080. The problems with that were well, two main ones. First of all, um, there was no telemetry back from this to my to my camera, so I couldn't see what I was filming. Certainly no video. And secondly, um, uh, was the weight. Now the weight was something that I hadn't really given much thought to, but let me just demonstrate what happened. Put that to one side and get my scales in. Um, the weight of this, put it on. The weight of this camera was an actual fat 20, 21 grams, quite light. The weight of this camera, varying between 80 and 81 grams, so about 81 grams. So. Um, three times heavier, four times heavier than, than that one. Um, and uh, that had a consequence, and you probably guess what the consequence was. The amount of effort that that drone needed to lift this was incredibly, uh, was incredible. And uh, it consequently reduced the battery life from about 10 minutes to um, about a minute, minute and a half, maximum two minutes. And on two occasions, because I didn't have any telemetry, suddenly the drone gave up and fell from the sky, well, came down reasonably slowly, uh, fell from the sky. And on one occasion, the elastic bands, um, uh, it ejected the, the camera from the elastic bands with the force of hitting the ground. Fortunately, no damage was done to the camera. Um, um, but uh, obviously, it was a good idea, but an idea that was doomed to failure. So radical action was needed. And the radical action was to actually look for a new drone with uh, a higher definition camera. And that's what I did. So let's clear this out of the way. Put all this to one side. And my T in case I knock it over. The scales and the camera. And bring in the new contender which um, I got from uh, Banggood, and the, it's the SJRC quadcopter. Now, before I made the choice of this, um, there were a number of things I had to take into account. One was the cost. I didn't want to pay a lot of money, like eight, nine hundred pounds for a, a quadcopter or a, or a drone. And I didn't want to pay a, a little price and get an inferior camera. And this one seemed to come right out in the middle. Um, reasonable price, I think, uh, I, I, for, for this one, um, with two batteries and the case, it was just under £200. Um, and I do recommend getting two batteries with it for a reason I'll tell you in a minute. But this is it, and it came in this. Now, um, if you buy them without the case, they come in that silver box. And if you look at other videos, you'll see that. So opening it up, and there it is. There's the transmitter and controller. And there is the drone, and it's very nicely packaged. Um, if I take those out, put them on the table, and we'll talk more about the drone in a moment. And then there's another layer which you can take out, which is very nicely packaged, and it's very nice. And underneath that, there's some silica gel. Underneath this, um, we have the spare battery, which I'll take out. Um, and I'll talk more about the batteries in a minute. 
um, there's a, uh, a charging lead, uh, which is a micro USB charging lead. Um, there's spare, four spare propellers and uh, four spare blades and um, they're complete because there's two blades but they're all they're all actually joined together you've just got to put them in and I believe the allen key is in there as well and also in there there's uh, this little box let me put this down for a moment but yeah it's a pretty nice case um, in there there's the uh, the instruction manual Um, a little bit tiny, uh, but uh, everything is in it. Um, uh, and uh, one of the first things I will do before I even attempt to fly, and what we all should do, is read the book because um, that's neglected on so many occasions. And you get the thing in the air, and then suddenly, what's happening? I wish I'd read the book. So I'm going to read that before I do anything else. Coming back now to the quadcopter itself, um, very nice design. It's very heavy. In fact, let's weigh it and see how heavy it actually is. Because don't forget, new regulations, anything over 250 uh, grams, um, you have to register it, or you will have to register it uh, come the end of the year. And uh, so I, I think this is going to exceed that by a little bit. So the weight of the drone is 516 grams, uh, 5.16 um, kilos, so it's way over the 250 which you, you will have to register your drone if it's over so um, anyway so that's that now let's open it up it's a folding drone um, it has uh, and there's a specific way of doing this you have to open the top ones first sorry you have to open the bottom ones top one top ones first in a really nice solid click when it goes into place it's all metal in here which is lovely Brushless motors, which will make it very powerful. Then open the bottom one. Again, a nice solid click. Um, and then the, uh, the top one again here. You can see why it has to be the top, because of the um, landing lag there. Prevents anything else happening. And then um, the bottom one. And there it is. Uh, it's a very nice looking solid drone. It's quite mean looking. Um, the camera is in the front here. It's not a gimbaled camera, but um, it, it's uh, from videos I've seen, it has a very stable flight pattern, so you don't really need that. And then on the top, uh, if you push this, uh, you will release the battery. The batteries are quite hefty, um, and uh, the book does say that um, on the, the you have to charge them from the micro USB lead from a, um, one of these uh, one of these chargers. And um, unless you get a, a, you know, two and a half amp one, it's going to take a while to charge. The book does say that it will take four hours to charge one of these batteries. Hence the reason why I've ordered two of them. Um, now, one of the things I'm going to do uh, is to put number one and number two on them or some mark so I can identify them. Because when you're out in the field, you're, you're bound to forget which one's charged and which one's not. However... You can press the top of the battery because they're smart batteries and I don't know if you can see this and if you hold it pressed um, it will uh, indicate and that one's fully charged the the, um, the blue lights on it and uh, then you press it again and hold it and the lights go out so it is a smart battery but it does take a lot of charging from one of these so I do recommend if you're going to get this get two batteries the positive thing about all this is that this drone will, let me put one battery back in. And that, by the way, is how you turn the drone on by pushing the battery switch. The positive thing is um, this drone will give a 25 minutes flying time per battery. So that is, that is really, really good. Um, 25 minutes, you can do an awful lot with that. Um, and... Uh, I'm not going to go through all the instruction book now, just to point out a couple of things with it. Um, uh, you have the micro SD card slot at the bottom there. It's not covered, but that, that's fine. It will go right in there. Um, the camera, and on this side, you have the uh, micro uh, charging port um, for your... In fact, let's get the, let's get the cable out. So 
so you have the micro S um, charging port there um, all ready to uh, to charge um, but that does take a little while and then uh, let's remove that um, the blades themselves nice and solid as I said brushless motors and uh, there are two ports underneath here um, thought they may have been for optical uh, height for landing but they're just dummies um, they're, they don't do anything um, anyway there it is and I'm very very pleased with how it looks it feels the job it feels um, that it's going to be a very um, sturdy drone to work with no propeller guards um, so just watch out for that um, and uh, yeah, so that's the drone. Let's put that down and look at the um, look at the uh, transmitter. Uh, there's um, little bushes on there to uh, protect the joysticks. Joysticks feel quite nice. The antenna I fold out one, and then twist to lock it in place. Two, and then twist to lock it in place. Um, and then the camera comes up here and uh, opens out for that. And then you've got a series of lights on here, um, which indicate the various stat status of, of the drone. Um, speed control. Um, and uh, I, I really have to read the book all about this. Um, a return to home, which is there. Um, and uh, different mode selection and on off, which is there. So quite a nice controller. Um, the other thing is uh, it does have these, I think they're flip out legs everything's nice and stiff and it's not tinny at all so yeah there's a yes there we go so little flip out legs so you can hold the, the thing like this quite a tiny um, uh, transmitter when compared to the SEMA transmitter uh, which is here so as you can see there's there's quite a difference between them now so that's the, uh, that's the transmitter. So quite pleased with all this. Um, and yeah, very happy actually. Uh, my next job is to read the book thoroughly to find out how it all works um, and, uh, and, and put, it, put it to its first test flight. Um, according to this manual, uh, there is a beginner's mode which uh, limits all the parameters of the drone. Um, it has lots of functions such as uh, follow me, um, circle, uh, point to point, uh, waypoint flight um, and uh, various other bits and point of interest um, and uh, various other, um, other things to do with it. Um, and uh, so looking forward to learning to fly that. But let's just have a, a quick look at the box again. What have I done with the box? It's huge. Here it is. Um, and this is just a, a little point, but it's a useful one. On the top of the box, um, there's a place for documents. Now, uh, towards the end of the year, I mentioned when you have to register these, and we don't know yet whether we'll be paying £16.50 or what, um, but uh, I encourage you to go online uh, to the uh, um, CAA website and uh, look at the documents regarding this, and there is a a feedback and, and um, a form that you can fill in. I do recommend you do that. I'll put all the details down below on this video. But when you've got all your documents, um, then they can go in there. So if you're stopped by Mr. Policeman, um, you can quickly produce your registration document should you need to. So that's a nice little point. And the, the box is, is nice, it's got a handle on it. Um, and uh, it's, I'm really pleased with the quality of that. It seems to be shower proof anyway. Well, um, that's about it for this video. Um, Slurp of tea, I think, again. I can't do without my Earl Grey in the morning. That's about it for this video. Um, the next stage is for me to get very familiar with the, with the, with the SEMA drone and um, also uh, to take it and fly it um, tentatively at first but hopefully I will gain confidence with it. Again, um, 
don't try and fly indoors uh, unless you switch off the GPS even then it's difficult to control but with no GPS and it's trying to access it you won't have any stability you'll probably wreck all your possessions in the room and you'll almost certainly um, wreck the propellers so uh, wait have some patience and fly it when you get outside um, thank you for watching this video uh, I hope that you found it of interest um, and uh, I'll come back to you um, when I've done some further work on this and hopefully show it flying. Um, but thank you for watching and uh, as always, take care.